a lot of companies are afraid to ask questions because they think if they say something back, it distracts a customer. They, they leave, they fall out of the purchase path or whatever the funnel they want to call it. But where they miss the opportunity is actually the next time you get to a checkout or a thank you page, the research shows that that's actually the height of trust with the customer. And what do most companies do? They pass their moment to ask something, to learn something. Why did you choose us? Who else are you buying from? And so they say, yeah, here's the order number. We'll email it to you. You can close the window. And so the context first is that they're missing even the most basic moments to ask anything. What do I like to ask? I'll give you my two favorites. One is I love to ask that competitor question. Who else are you buying from? Who else has your spend? If I see a customer where they're like, look, I'm already sold on you. I'll give you all my money. Like Amazon, I just buy everything from Amazon. They say 90% goes to Amazon because you're easy and convenient. There's not a lot of growth for Amazon in that relationship. They're already getting all my money. But if it's only 10%, then that's a different story. That's to say, hey, we have a great relationship, but there is more I can get out of you. Why? What can I do? And so share of wallet questions are incredibly powerful. Net promoter score, the how likely are you to recommend this to a friend? Those fit in. One of my favorite is actually just asking people what they like about the company. Here's what's interesting. Most people don't form opinions until they're prompted. Most people, if you don't point attention, be like, well, what do you think about the painting behind me? Well, then you'll look and you'll say, well, let me think about that. And you'll say, I like it or I hate it. The same thing goes with customers and the companies they work with. All too often, we ask surveys, where can we improve? What can we do better? But what researchers found is by asking people, what did you like the most about our company? What did you like the most about our website experience? What did you like the most about our products? It actually makes those positive memories salient. So not only do you get the information about what you're doing right, those customers tend to have better relationships with your company going forward. So in a retail setting, spending 8% more a year. In a B2B setting, about 30% more people go on to buy the full product off of a trial. And even in financial services, a boring area, after over 18 months, they found customers that simply were prompted to say, what do you think is great about us? We're using more of the bank's products and services and reported higher levels of customer satisfaction simply by asking and directing them to a single question.